Hey everyone, in this video, I'll share with you three simple tips that will help you to have better pinky technique. So let's talk about it. Now many people view technique on the saxophone as it relates to the fingers as simply how fast they can play. Of course that's a portion of it, but the way I view it though is how efficient the finger motion is. This almost results in the ability to play faster, but efficiency is key. That means minimizing tension, minimizing wasted motion, and countless other things. On this channel, I've spoke about some of these things, but today I wanted to address some tips on becoming more efficient with your pinkies the spatula keys. One of the reasons I believe that many people struggle with the spatula keys is not because it's very difficult. I really think it's because we don't play those keys very much, relatively speaking, particularly the left hand spatula keys. So the first tip and advice I would give is a basic one. Deliberately play exercises every day that target the spatula keys. You can make up exercises or find some in an etude book or your repertoire, but chromatic exercises are great for managing your way around these left hand spatula keys. So regardless of what you do, target the problem areas. This is the only way to really find improvement in these things over time, is deliberate focus. The second tip is to make sure you're only traveling as far as you need to, to close the tone holes. In other words, be efficient with your motion. When you're playing chromatic passages utilizing the low C sharp, the B, and the low B flat keys, it's important to understand exactly how much you have to move to get the tone hole to completely close. When you explore this, you'll be surprised on how little you actually need to move for this to happen. Also another thing to think about in this vein is that you want to make sure that you understand the path you have to get there. So for instance, if I'm going from a low C sharp to the B flat to a low B natural. I would move from the C sharp to the B flat in a more diagonal line instead of moving straight to the B flat. This makes sure that I'm closer to the B key for the next note. So part of being efficient with your motion is also understanding where you're coming from and where you're going next. Also, it's important to note that on most modern saxophones, the mechanism in the left hand spatula keys allow you to stay on some of the keys while you're pressing others. Like for instance, I can play my low B flat while pressing my low B key. This means if I'm going straight from my B to my B flat, I don't have to completely get off of my B key. This is huge for minimizing your finger motion. Tip number three is don't be afraid to flatten out your pinkies. It's helpful sometimes. We saxophonists preach to curve your fingers. I do that too, it's important. But there are specific occasions where flat fingers are more efficient. Consider what I mentioned in tip number two about the ability to keep your B key down while playing your low B flat. The same is true about the low C sharp going to a low B or a low B flat going to a C sharp. So let's take the C sharp to the low B for instance. If my pinky is curved, I very well might get caught in between the two sets of rollers. However, if I flatten out my pinky, the motion is as smooth as butter. The best part of this is, in most of your cases, when you do this, you don't have to get off of your C sharp key. This same idea goes for your right hand spatula keys, the E flat and the low C. I definitely play these keys with a flat finger when I have to go between these two notes. This prevents my pinky from getting bumped or stuck in between the two rollers down there. Now many of you may be doing this already, but whether it's new information or old, tip number one is something that we can all afford to do which is spend more time practicing the spatula keys. Now, if you're passionate about the saxophone and you want to join a community of fellow music enthusiasts, then hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. By subscribing to my channel, you'll be the first to access new saxophone tutorials, tips, and exciting musical content that I upload in the weeks to come.